Portland DA's office dropping charges against a man arrested for shooting a security guard. The guard and witnesses say they may have misidentified the shooter after taking another look at some surveillance video. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez live at Mobile Police Headquarters. Andrew, big twist in this case. Yeah, absolutely, Bob Lanise. And witnesses, they were saying that they had just way too many physical differences between the shooter that was caught on tape and then the man that was arrested by police. So they expressed those concerns in court. I spoke to the attorney for that man a little bit earlier today. He told me his client should have just never been booked in the first place. Surveillance video may have caught the crime, but for now, the shooter is still MIA. There was never any doubt in my mind from talking with the family, from looking at y'all's video. Uh, there was never any doubt in my mind that uh, the, the police had the wrong individual. And to their credit, they uh, corrected the problem. An assault first charge against Keith Dixon has officially been dropped. His attorney telling us the victim and witnesses decided the guy booked wasn't the guy in the video, only resembled him at first. I can't really say what my thoughts are about that. That's how the owner of Fat Tuesday's sports bar reacted when we first told him about the arrest last week. Dixon was charged for shooting security guard Joe Fairley. The man on camera had been escorted out for being drunk. He stalked the security guard before opening fire. When you look at the videos and you look at my client, they don't look anything alike. They had dreadlocks that looked similar. My clients were a lot longer, and when you look at the video, it's a completely different face. We will continue the investigation. We'll still ask for any witnesses uh, that may have seen anything or may have any information. Mobile police say this latest move doesn't put them back at square one. Instead, they're re interviewing witnesses, gathering alibis. Friedlander said he just wants his client's name cleared and wants to see hard evidence. Evidence before any arrest. I've been doing this for 40 something years and I see a lot of what I feel are misidentifications. And there are a lot of people in the penitentiary that are there because they were identified by one single individual and uh, not by anything else connecting them to the crime. Yeah, now Dixon is not free tonight just yet. He's still behind bars on a, an outstanding domestic violence warrant. Uh, fairly, he remains at USA Medical Center recovering from three gunshot wounds. Remember, there's still a $500 reward on the line for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. For now, reporting live outside Mobile Police Headquarters, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. New tonight at 9, Bayman